So you're looking at mining crypto, huh? I was right there as a noob at one time with you as well. So let's take a look at this information about mining with the L3 Plus. So here we go. See, it's a little bit loud. But this right here is your L3 Plus. And you can see I've got mine running off a little router out here with a hard line. And this little joint here, just so I can see how much I'm actually spending in electricity a month. But so far, little things are working out. I got this thing about two weeks ago tomorrow. So I'm going to give you what I'm getting for the first two weeks. So let's get back over here. And if you have an L3, you're definitely going to want to keep it somewhere in your house. That is not very loud. So... Well, quiet area anyways. You don't want to stick to some place where you need to be quiet because those things are not quiet by any means. But if we take a look over here, here's what I'm using. I'm using a nice hash just because it's real simple to use. So you can take a look here. And this is my wallet as of today. So what we're looking at is you get paid out at 50,000 Satoshis. So we've got our 50,000 right up here. So we're sitting at 40 right now. We've had three payouts for um, Bitcoin in the last two weeks. Tomorrow's gonna be the fourth payout on the 14th day. So it is taking roughly three to three and a half days to get a payout of 50,000 Satoshis. So right now, and with it mining at 51, the price being at 60, you do get that 16, 17% increase and your mining revenue once you do move it from nice hash to wherever your wallet's at. I'm using Coinbase for this one just because Coinbase is connected to it, makes it real simple, plus it's a free fee. There is no fee if you use nice hash and connect it to your Coinbase. So if you don't have Coinbase, you wanna save that fee, get you an account. Coinbase is relatively the simplest and easiest one to use. I like KuCoin, I like a couple other exchanges, but Coinbase is by far the easiest. So if you're new, hop on Coinbase, man. That's the way to do it right there. But as far as being a noob with this, hey, it's been two weeks. Mining's went fine. I had a couple chips go out, rebooted it. Used, I have a nice little group I go to, you know, to ask help, things like that. It's one thing you're definitely going to look at is the maintenance of these machines. So definitely take a look at the maintenance on YouTube with the L3, cleaning it and just overall maintaining the machine because you want this thing to last to the next halving. I think I'm gonna go ahead, um, purchase another one and maybe another one. I think I'll probably stop at three for the time being. Um, but like I said, this thing's gonna make about 5% of a Bitcoin every year. So I would like to get multiple machines to try to get you know at least a quarter percent of a Bitcoin. You know, 10 years down the road, that might be worth $250,000 plus whatever you got in your portfolio now. But this was definitely something new trying in crypto, not just buying coins and holding on to them and trading them and, you know, this, that, and the other. Actually getting into the mining was an enjoyable experience. It was not too difficult. Just do your research, guys. That's all you got to do. Do your research. Find you a good community group to ask questions to. Um, Voss Coin, he's a guy on YouTube. Excellent channel. Excellent community. I've went in there a couple of times. They've helped me out tremendously. So definitely check him out. He's a good one there. But any questions, feel free to put it down in the uh, comments. I'm going to keep mining this. I'll give another uh, update in two weeks so we can see what it's going to be after a month. And that's really going to tell me at that point if this is a piece of shit or if I should go ahead and buy another one. Right now, it's looking I need to buy another one. Because at the two-week point, first payment was $28 some change. Second payment was $30 some change. The other one was when price was a little bit higher. You know, we went up there pretty high for a minute with that all-time high. So that was about 35 and that was for three and a half days. Okay, all these little payments here were for three and a half days. So I'm looking at almost $100, 98 and some change right now. And then tomorrow, I'd say we're gonna get probably another 28, $30. So it's looking about $30 every three and a half days. So you're 60 bucks a week, 120 every two, 240 monthly. So if it's going to rock 240 monthly, then I will most likely be buying more of these machines. But we'll see how it goes. Might run into a bear market. Never fucking know in this shit, man. It goes up and down so much. 
never really know. If anybody tells you they do, they're full of shit. I found that out my damn self, you know, being in the market for a couple of years buying. But if you got any questions, guys, feel free to ask them. I'm going to keep on doing this and uh, see where I go from here. See if it's actually something's going to be extremely profitable. And we'll look at the um, ROI, return on investment, at the one month mark, because that will give us much better data to work with to see how long this is actually going to take to pay it off and then go into the positive. But like I said, guys, you got any comments? Feel free to put them in the comments. I'll take a look at them, see what we can do together. You guys have a great day and be blessed. Blackbeard out.